There are 25 eyeballs to find in Legend of the Crystal Skull. If you're missing one, you can easily identify which one you're missing by looking at the cabinet, because each eye goes in a specific spot. For example, the first three spots in the cabinet are for the three eyeballs from the grandfather clock. You get them by entering the correct numbers into the clock. They come from the Time Will Tell story in Bruno's notebook. Number four is from the spider hole in the fountain. You listen to the spider jack in the box to get the notes, then play those notes on the strings. Number five is from the marble game that's inside the foyer. Number six from the creepy puppet in the attic. You open it with Baza Lupa di Muka. Number seven from Henry. It's on his keychain. You have to overhear Henry's conversation with his girlfriend Summer before you can get it from him. Number eight from the book catalog. You go through all the books and enter the combination 1540. This comes from the Librarian's Tales section of Bruno's Notebook. Number nine from the Tooth Books, you need to pull the eight books in the proper order according to the history of Quincy Booker's teeth in Bruno's Notebook. Number ten is in a book. You look through the peephole in the secret passageway and you zoom in to find which book. Number eleven is inside one of the trophies to the left of Henry. Number twelve, from the cemetery model in the foyer, it's inside the Forty Winks Mausoleum. Number 13 from the gumball machine. You use the token from the puppet on the gumball machine. Number 14 from the skee ball machine. You need to change all nine blocks into eyes. Number 15 from the pendulum game in the attic. Start the pendulum moving, then grab the eyeball when it's outside. Number 16 is from the Jolly Rogers box. You dress Iggy up like a pirate to get the box, and you have Bess infiltrate the meeting to learn the password, which is John Lafitte. Number 17 is already inside the eyeball collection when you first open it. Number 18 is from Iggy, who dress him up in the optometrist costume to get it. Number 19 is in Bruno's bedroom, it's inside the drawer by the table. Numbers 20 through 23 are from the bird statues. You press on the bird heads in the order 33214 to get a key. Use the key on all four statues for four eyeballs. This puzzle is from Bruno's notebook. The key to the statues, the statues the key. Number 24, from the Cemetery Scavenger Hunt, the last tombstone you examine is Derek Grant's, the eyeball is inside. Number 25 is Charlie Wicker's Grave, that's in Bruno's Notebook, the story of steps in the right direction. You have to find mushrooms for Renee in order to get the shovel, then you go to Charlie's grave and you follow the directions on it to find the fancy thing with the eyeball inside. So that's it. That's where all the eyeballs are located in Nancy Drew, Legend of the Crystal Skull, Hope this helps out! I know it can be really frustrating if you're playing the game yourself and there's just one eyeball you've missed and you don't know where it is! So, uh, like I said, uh, the eyeballs are always in a specific spot in the box. So if you're missing eyeball number 20, then you, you can just say, Oh, well, number 20, that was the bird statue one. So that's that's my intent in making this video, just to help people find the, the few missing eyeballs which they may have overlooked.